Welcome back to Motorhoming in the Slow Lane. I'm Sarah and this is Lee. In 2020, we bought our first ever motorhome, Sophia, and we travel with our beagles. If you're new here, why not hit the subscribe button and follow us along as we travel as much as we can. With Sophia being so old, there's lots of ups and downs. Welcome back to motorhoming in the slow lane. So we started our journey to Scotland uh, this afternoon and we've not got off to a very good uh, start. It looks like we've got a slow puncture. So Lee is in the process of getting that changed for us. So here we are, we've only gone 40 miles I think and we've had to stop already, change the tyre, um, we pumped the tyres up, it, the one on the back was a bit low um, and seemed to be going down so rather than take a chance we've uh, swapped it out with a spare so one of the jobs we'll be looking at tomorrow is getting it checked out and um, having a look at it in case it's got a puncture on. So we're, uh, I think we're uh, somewhere near Troopsbury at the moment so we're going to try and make a long slog now towards uh, T-Bay where we'll be staying for the night. Um, but yes, Sophia has uh, not let us down, and it's uh, another on the on the road job we've had to do. So uh, that's one we can tick off at least. So good morning. It's Saturday. Um, we are still in Tuba Services, and we are currently about to use the facilities here. Um, all you have to do is hand over your key, and they will let you use the shower. I'll show you around. We are at tea Bay services and we are having breakfast. This is what is left of my breakfast. Very delicious. So this is where we stayed last night at Tea Bay Services. Morning, everybody. So uh, we've left T-Bay Services and we've travelled up to Falkirk. So there's a couple of things we want to see around here. The first one being the Falkirk wheel.
So that was a really, really quick stop at Falkirk Wheel. Uh, we got to see a boat in the lock, which was really good. Lee managed to buy some fudge. Um, and I think now we're gonna go and try and find a tire place uh, to make sure that our spare tire is fixed before we continue our journey. But that there is the Falkirk Wheel. Welcome to the Kelpies. They are behind you. Ta-da! So, Sophia, 32 years old, and she's had uh, a mammoth two days. So, leaving Swindon yesterday at half past four, driving up to T-Bay Services, and uh, getting up to Braemar today. 515 miles in total, um, and we've done that in good time. Highlight for me was the uh, climb up to the Glenshee Mountain Ski Resort that we passed through. Um, 650 metres of elevation. Um, 20 miles an hour, second gear, um, luckily there were no cars behind us, uh, otherwise we might have annoyed them slightly, but uh, yes, driving through the snow-capped mountains in the Cairngorms, what a treat. So what a day that was, I think that's probably one of our favourite days we've had in Sofia. Started off at t Bay Services, had some yummy breakfast, uh, went into um, Falkirk, we had a little look at the wheel, uh, took a drive round to the Kelpies, um, and then we stocked up at Lidl. I'm now having a nice cheeky gin. Um, and we're cooking a lovely, it looks lovely actually. I wish you could smell it. I wish this was smell -a vision Cooking a lovely chicken um, stir fry. Um, yes, if anyone's noticed on our Instagram, we've kind of um, gone a bit astray with our vegan. Uh, we're doing it as often as we can, um, but it's a personal choice. Um, and we'll get there eventually. It's a, a big thing when we've gone from being meat eaters for the last 40 years. Uh, but we definitely do probably more vegan days than we do um, meat days. So we are going to settle in um, and I think we're going to go to sleep. We'll catch you tomorrow.